Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News. I'm your host, Jakari Jackson. It's February 26, 2014, and here are our top stories. Tonight, surrender your firearms. The state of Connecticut is now demanding that gun owners across the state turn in all unregistered firearms and magazines or face felony arrest. Mr. and Mrs. America, turn them all in. Proof positive that gun registration leads to confiscation. Then, a new report reveals that the FBI had direct contact with Osama bin Laden as far back as 1993, a revelation missing from the official investigation into the September 11th attacks. And the IRS is preparing to enforce Obamacare with hefty fines and fees. All that and more up next on the InfoWars Nightly News. And welcome back. Our top story headline, Surrender Your Firearms, Connecticut Tells Unregistered Gun Owners. The law bans the sale of magazines holding over 10 rounds and, quote, assault rifles manufactured after 1994 and requires that residents who possessed either before the ban to register them with the state. The letter breaks down the gun owners, quote, options, including surrendering their firearms and magazines to the police, selling them to a gun dealer, removing them from the state, or rendering them inoperable. So this is what gun control looks like because these people have learned from the mistakes they did during Hurricane Katrina, going door to door, kicking in doors and knocking old ladies down who have little rusty, uh, little rusty revolvers. They say, no, we're going to make you destroy your own property. We're not going to break in and steal it. We're going to make you destroy it or sell it or give it away. And some of these people, you may have an antique gun. Maybe your granddad used to use it to fight in a war or something. You don't want to get rid of that. You don't want to sell that. You don't want to destroy that. So this is how they're going to take your guns. They're ways their methods have gotten more sophisticated they really don't want to go door to door because the police and military are smart enough to realize that they're going to meet some opposition so they're going to force you to register your things and if you think registration doesn't equal, equal confiscation or disarmament more accurately this is proof positive right here and another proof positive source fbi had a source in contact with bin laden as far back as 1993 so let's look more into this in a revelation missing from the official investigation of September 11, 2001 terrorist attacks, the FBI placed a human source in direct contact with Osama bin Laden in 1993 and ascertained that the al-Qaeda leader was looking to finance terrorist attacks in the United States, according to a court testimony in a little notice employment dispute case. I think it raises a lot of questions about why that information didn't become public and why the 9-11 Commission or the Congressional Intelligence Committee weren't told about it, said former Representative Peter Holkstra, a Michigan Republican. So regardless if you believe the full story of 9-11, I have many questions myself, such as a big jumbo jet back in 2001 pulled off a maneuver that would be difficult for most modern fighter jets to hit uh, flying down to the Pentagon. And then you have all the missing footage of the Pentagon attack. You have one camera with still images. So I have a question about how that was possible and what happened to all this other missing footage. Another question I have, the bin Laden family. If, you know, you weren't sure it was Osama bin Laden from the get-go, why was the bin Laden family allowed to get on a plane and leave the country before he was even officially a suspect? So this says right here the FBI had their eyes on him as far back as 1993, which in my mind means that they could have did a little bit more to stop these attacks like they could have stopped the... Uh, the World Trade Center bombing back in 1993 when the FBI had their patsy cook the own bomb, cook the bomb that blew up uh, parts of the World Trade Center. If you haven't heard that, you can go read that in the New York Times. Now, as far as things that, you know, went boom, let's take a look at this. Your, your rights are going boom in the state of California. California smartphone kill switch proposed nationwide. So this is a story. A lawmaker in Illinois has introduced a bill that would mandate a kill switch in all smartphones, potentially allowing authorities to shut them off at will. The legislation is a replica of a bill recently introduced in California, aimed, according to lawmakers, at discouraging thefts of phones and black market trading. So they're saying this is because of Apple picking, you know, when they steal your iPhone or steal your smartphone data. We'll just have a kill switch so nobody can use your phone. Okay, so let's say you're out and, you know, maybe this will become routine in a traffic stop. They already want to download the information on your phone during a traffic stop. Now they'll just turn off your phone altogether so you can't film them or some other event, whatever it may be. You go into some type of big building. Uh, next time you go to a federal building, maybe they just kill your phone when you walk through the door. This is what it's going to take. I, I don't know why people would submit to these kind of type of measures. 
I don't know what possible thing they could propose to make this seem reasonable to people. Why would you want your phone to be killed? And this is already built in backdoor technology, just like they can spy on your phones. They've been doing it for years. These just are recent revelations. So they're trying to bring this thing to the forefront, to the public, to make it seem okay. Well, it's legal now, so we can just go ahead and keep doing it. If you're in California, if you're in Illinois, reject this. Uh, kick and scream and go jump on the couch like Tom Cruise if you have to. Whatever you have to do to keep these people from getting into your life any more than they already are. And another way you can do that is make sure that the Supreme Court doesn't allow people just to run into your house. Supreme Court ruling eases police searches of a suspect's home. The court held a 6-3 vote that police can search a home without a warrant, even if the suspect has objected, as long as he is no longer at the scene and the co-tenant gives consent. So which is to say if, you know, let's say you're investigated for whatever reason you leave in your roommate, your wife or whoever, the police come bang, bang, bang. You know, they're scared. They got the black ski mask on and their AR-15s and the dog barking. We want to search the house. Okay. And they jump back. They're scared. They're freaked out. They don't know what they're, what's going on. So they come in and search your residence, find whatever they want to find or maybe even plant something that's not like that's ever happened before. And now all of a sudden you're going to jail or if you just have a roommate who doesn't like you for whatever reason. These things can come back to haunt you. And I'm very much against uh, these people just coming up to your house and taking whatever they want. We see the no-knock warrants where even the police are being shot back and killed now, which I'm very happy that uh, that gentleman in Texas wasn't charged for that. Not saying I'm happy that the officer died, but I'm happy that at least sanity prevailed in saying you can't just bust into people's doors and expect them not to do anything about it. Now, Obamacare, they expected you not to want to do something about it. So this is what they're going to do. IRS warns Obamacare tax must be paid with your tax return. So this is what they're going to do. This is, going to how, this is how they're going to get their money. They took a government-issued product or service, they wrapped it up as a tax, and now you're going to have to pay for it. President Obama's Internal Revenue Service today quietly released a series of Obamacare health care tax tips, warning Americans that they must obtain, quote, qualifying health insurance, as defined by the federal government, or face a shared responsibility payment when filing their tax returns in 2015. So the government is going to tell you how you qualify and what the situations and things are that's going to be in your package. For example, myself, a single male with no dependents, must have maternity care for whatever reason because that's in the health care bill. Healthcare, healthcare bill. So I don't understand this notion that they're going to tell me what's responsible, what's okay, what's decent, and then I have to pay for it. I have a very big problem with that. That's why I don't want Obamacare. I'm not trying to pay these people any taxes, but they're going to get you coming and going, whether you sign up for Obamacare and you have your rates uh, go up, you maybe drop from your plan in California, uh, Florida, or other places, many other places. If nothing else, you're going to have to pay out the wazoo as far as these taxes are concerned. So this is just another reason. You're talking about he's going to do more. This is doing more. He's going to take it straight out your tax return. And another way he's doing more, immigration reform. Obama eases penalties for businesses hiring illegal immigrants. Now, I've said this on the show many times. I still stand firm. I have no issue with people coming here legally, naturalization, joining the military, and so forth. But when you have programs like uh, Border Patrol and ICE and you say, we're just going to award the people who can sneak past them, I have a very big issue with that. Then why did people like Brian Terry have to die? Why did he have to get murdered when we're just going to uh, award the people who can sneak past him? I'm not saying that all uh, immigrants are collectively responsible for his murder, but when you endorse people, when you say if you sneak past the border and you make it to Texas, you can get free education, I have a very big problem with that. I'm from Oklahoma. I don't get free education here. The Obama administration regularly cuts breaks for businesses who hire illegal immigrants, reducing their fines by an average of 40 percent from what they should be, according to an audit released Tuesday that suggests the government could be doing more to go after unscrupulous employers. Once again, you want to come here legally, do the legal process, that's all good, but don't award people who sneak past the measures and then act like we have a border control crisis. We have all this uh, gun crisis in Mexico, even though the ATF's running guns down there, it makes absolutely no sense. And something that didn't make sense to me uh, this past, uh, I guess, last month when we went to California is the excessively high levels of radiation. And then this denial, oh, it was climate change or whatever. I don't understand that at all, how climate change has to do with radioactivity. But it is, I guess, some ways the climate, the water that brings this radiation over. Because we went to California and we met people from as far north as Alaska. And they said they saw debris from the Fukushima, well, not necessarily the Fukushima, but from the Japan tsunamis. And I said, how do you know this debris came from Japan? They said, well, this, these big uh, tankers and all these other things, these big uh, piles of debris, and they have Japanese writing on them. So my thought was, 
well, if the debris can come from Japan, why can't the radiation come with it? And that's the article that we have here today by Paul Joseph Watson. Researchers have announced that radioactive isotopes from the Fukushima nuclear disaster have been discovered in seawater west of Vancouver off the coast of Canada, confirming predictions that the radiation would reach the west coast by early 2014. So if you're on the west coast, it, this is real. It's, you know, it not, never was a conspiracy theory, but people try to brush it off as such. So research it, do whatever you have to do. I'm not saying you necessarily have to evacuate, but at least take some steps, take the nascent iodine that we sell at the InfoWars shop. Do something to protect yourself and your family because the government's not going to do it because they're saving all the iodine and all the other things for themselves. You can go see that report by Anthony Gucciardi. Polster, Kiev-style revolt coming to America. We don't have the same overt oppression, but we have a very soft oppression of, of complacency and corruption. And the American people, what you're seeing there, they need their own outlet for that. But it is a warning. That was a great tweet question because it's coming. A soft oppression that was from Pat Cadell. And while I understand the point he was trying to make, I will disagree with that because we live in a country where you can be kicked out of school for eating your Pop-Tarts the wrong way or here in the city of Austin, Texas. You can be arrested if you jaywalk and just don't feel like giving your name to an officer. So I do disagree with his point, and I think this is very much a hardcore oppression. Now, NATO responds to Russian mobilization over Ukraine. This article from Infowars.com on Monday recovered reports indicating Russia had bolstered its forces in Crimea and the Black Sea following the success of the Euro Maiden coup in Ukraine. The heightened military posture was officially confirmed on Wednesday when Russian President Vladimir Putin put troops in Western Europe on alert and the Russian military began combat readiness drills in Western and Central Europe. So this is a very complex situation. Many people in America, your war hawks, are saying that we need military intervention in the Kiev, Ukraine area. Also, Russia has numerous ports that they don't want to lose. There's a lot of things at stake. Meanwhile, you have, uh, you know, I will say to an extent, well-meaning population who may have been duped into thinking that joining the EU is a good thing. So we'll just have to sit back and watch how this situation develops. And the development we've had here at Infowars.com that you don't have to wait anymore to find out about is the... Resist TSA, NSA tyranny, and the winner of that is Dick Johnson. So congratulations to you, Dick Johnson. A uh, number of great films, uh, Joy Camp, as well as many other people entered this contest. We have some great films. Also, the trendy TSA, those were your top three. But Dick Johnson, you are the big winner. So congratulations to you, and hopefully we'll see more stuff from you in the near future. Now we're going to break. But after this break, we'll have a special interview with Eddie Craig because there's been a lot of talk about, you know, what do you do when you encounter the police? So Eddie Craig of Rule of Law Radio is going to break all that down for us. But first, if you like this broadcast and you would like to see it continue, stop by PrisonPlanet.tv and get yourself a free trial. You can see the nightly news, the special reports, all that at PrisonPlanet.tv. So stay tuned right after this break for Eddie Craig. globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off Super Male Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality. InfoWarsLife.com. We're on the march, the Empire's on the run, and the InfoWars Army is standing strong. Wake up your family, friends, and neighbors and break the matrix at InfoWarsStore.com. Learn the truth and spread the message of liberty with the world's most comprehensive...